Welcome back. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee. We're having fun. We've got lots of great information for you right here on Open. And our next guest is the CEO and founder of Savvy Entrepreneur. Yeah. And he's the author of 10 Powerful Networking Tips Using Social Media. And he joins us today to speak about the importance of networking, especially in difficult times. Please welcome to the show, Carl E. Reed. Welcome. Hi, Carl. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. It's an honor, actually, to speak with you today. Yeah. I see uh, you got everything behind you. Uh, you're a savvy entrepreneur. Tell us about it. Yes. That term actually has been around since the 70s. It was coined. Uh, it's taken a, got a lot more traction since the turn of the 21st century. And yeah. uh, it's helped me with my career. And basically, the foundation is of that is, is that it's an employee that works at different companies, and they think like entrepreneurs, they have that attitude, they have that mindset, kind of that business owner mindset. It's not necessarily a career path, it's just a mindset, how people think, whether they work in the communications department or the accounting department or in the technology area. And usually yeah. people like that are, are um, the rainmakers in the organization that take calculated risks, they network with the senior folks and in the organization and they usually are get promoted more raises come a little faster and uh it's a high visibility type of thing uh very different than the average employee that kind of waits for things to happen the entrepreneurs yeah. you know they make things happen and it's savvy entrepreneurs specifically we bring it to the next level and teach people how to then manage their careers like entrepreneurs so I, I i actually used it the techniques throughout the my career working as an employee and certainly into being an, an entrepreneur and it, yeah. it the diff, it's the differentiated these days it's what helps make people different in the organizations that they work with you know we talk about branding and that that becomes that distinctive value with doing stuff so we work with companies that to help them implement um savvy entrepreneur programs hr departments have ergs employee resource groups and that could be a resource group at an organization yeah and then and you've been through it you um Started from the bottom, now we're here. From the bottom, now the whole team's here. I mean, from Edenwall Housing Projects in the Bronx, you worked from the mail room to the boardroom. How did you accomplish that? That was a, an interesting journey when I, you know, Edenwall was actually, you know, it's a, it's a, it was a tough place. Grew up in the, in the 60s day. I was battle hardened by the time I got into the Marine Corps. But I think more importantly, my friends and I still joke about it, those of us that grew up there, it's quite a few of us that still stay in touch. It was, we call it Eden Wall University because yeah, it yeah. was built a mental toughness. So when we got into, into jobs and organizations and did stuff that gave us perspective to be able to get through the challenges, find mentors, you know, get, get through those, those things that made it hard or difficult, uh, depending on who we are, what we, what we were doing. Mm -hmm. um, and actually my career, when I first started at, at the mailroom, one of the things as I was reading about this entrepreneur techniques and doing things is kind of like, you know, put yourself out there a little bit. And when I delivered the mail every month, I would actually give uh, my resume to all the managers. And every month I would give ah. them actually the same resume. <laughs> <laughs> one, one director said, yeah. Carl, you keep giving me the same resume. He, said, he goes, what do I got to do to make you stop? Exactly. I said, hire me and I'll stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <He> actually <That's> did. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started there, you know, working as an administrative assistant and worked my way into kind of the technology arena. Um, yeah. The, from, from there kind of developed that, uh, again, taking chances, calculated risks, um, getting the, the, the companies uh, to pay my tuition. I went to Fordham U and it helped, my, helped me to get through that. And that was a hurdle to get through. Um, yeah training and um just kind of working my way I, I actually my mindset from when the age i was 12 back in eden wall was i wanted to have my own business but of course i've worked as an employee with different companies to get that and that finally broke down in the 90s i started my own technology consulting company and part of what savvy entrepreneur does actually it's on the one side it, it's, it is technology consulting we have consultants we put on assignments um we are looking for folks um, anyone wants to send me a um but they have to specialize you know we pick up people that, that have specialties within the technology area but then the yeah. other part is leadership development where we talk about those entrepreneur programs that we we help companies and individuals you know develop those kinds of things and i you know did a lot of work in the nonprofit arena and that's why i was able to get on a, a board um through, through that process and that's usually something that 
it's an honor because you have you have a lot of fiduciary responsibilities when you're in those positions, whether it's for profit or nonprofit um, yeah. organization. But it it does take a culmination of different skills, uh, different than uh, even being an executive or being a line manager or just working as an employee. You know, with doing things. But I, 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 I I've enjoyed the the ride, so to speak. I tell yeah. people what this is about. You got to enjoy the ride in life. No matter what they it is. call you're still writing uh tell us about your book is a lot of what we spoke about in your book well that, that that's one of the core functions um it's, it's called uh 10 powerful networking tips using social media and it's about business relationships and it doesn't matter the, and I, this is what i found in my entrepreneur travels was those people that can communicate effectively whether it be in writing verbally one-on-ones you know in conferences, the conference rooms have in meetings or certainly in groups. Those are the ones that are going to put themselves in those valued positions. And that doesn't matter if you're, a, you're, you're a, a, an engineer, an architect working uh, in a communication department, you want to be able to develop relationships, those interpersonal skills. And these days, soft skills count for 50 percent of the success rate of what people are doing. Yes, we have our specialty skills. We went to college and we learned how to do things. But the soft skills count for more because, the, the especially in our challenging times that we have now, uh, relationships count for more than anything. And oh yeah, with the book actually does a, I, I I didn't time it like that. Certainly when the things happen with our environment the way we have it now, but I found that networking has its own etiquette, its own style. I, as much as I've been networking and teaching people how to do it, I'm a student of networking because it's an evolving process. How you meet people, how you make introductions, how you, whether it's looking for a job or starting you know, business development. So what the book does is it not, it's not like a one-off type of read, but you would read a regular book. I wrote it in a manner that it's more of a reference guide. If a person wants to know how to use LinkedIn or Facebook or WhatsApp, they can go to that specific area of the book and learn about, because it's almost like, you know, uh, the different boroughs in New York City, they have different cultures. Brooklyn's a little different than the Bronx and Manhattan and Queens. They all have their, and on the platforms, they each have their yeah. own etiquette. But we have all this high tuck, uh, tech, but I tell people high tech's okay, but it's more about high touch. It's yeah. relationships. I'm still a phone person. I'd rather speak to someone. And now, of course, we have Zoom. You know, that's how I make a lot of connections these days is love being able to zoom is actually in the book because social media, when we think about it, it's actually any platform, any tool that lets us effectively uh, associate, build relationships, have conversation. That's really what social media is about. It's about yeah. starting a conversation. That's all it is. It's, it can be very simple. You know, and there's like you get the different give you an example of how a person quick social media lesson in, in two minutes or less is the difference between like comment and sharing can, has a distinctive value for people when people are liking kind of like a, a baseball game you're at a sporting event if you like something you're a spectator you're just watching things go by you're like oh that's nice but if you comment you're in the game you're the player you're you're you're, you're getting into the conversation and that's just what makes people stand out to start building those relationships with people now if you share someone's posts and it's a value to your network now you're an mvp you're the most valuable player in the social media uh, spectrum and th these discussions that are going on as long as it's a value i tell people you just don't share information and um you want to be able to be to be the center of your network by sharing information. And the book goes through each one of uh, several different types of platforms that people can use, but more it has to do with etiquette and the approaches when you approach someone. If someone's looking for a job, you don't just reach out to someone and say, is your company hiring? You develop a relationship. You say, Joe, how do you like to work in your company? What's going on there? What's the market like? You know, talk to HR people, but you you use the the, the again, to start conversations with folks and clients. And sometimes they, people have the yeah. misconception with social media. That's one thing the book really uh, focuses too on is, is that social media is not actually an advertising platform. Yes, you can push your, your, your products and your services, but you have to first add value. You gotta be in the game to, for people to recognize you. I say every fifth or sixth post that you've added value and you've shared it, Yes, then you can, people are op more open to just, you know, saying, okay, you, you're in, you, you have a product or a service, you have a consulting business, you have a, a PR yeah. firm, and now they're, they're willing to listen because you've added value to their lives. You've developed. Yeah. Instead of just popping up with a, hey, I need you to come over here. Well, where did this <laughs> exactly. person come from? But, uh, but Carl, you, you, 
you go uh, back to the original social media. I mean, <laughs> at a, at an Eatwell housing, um, the original social media is out in front of people, shaking hands and kissing That's babies right. and and touching, you know, rubbing shoulders and elbows and that's right. And the, walking and the with telephone, somebody every step of the way. That, yeah. <laughs> and the I'm still, I still like to talk on the telephone. And, yeah. and that's like one of the things that uh, we I cover in that when people use their cell phones, using that as your, as your, the, the cell phone is your kind of social media central, if you will, because it's yeah. that one device that has everything on it. But even a person's outgoing message, a person's in, you know, when you leave a message, there's, those are things that are important that, you know, you want people to want to leave a message or, or, or uh -huh. call you back. And, you know, you, people shouldn't put on there, you know, this is me, hit me up. And this, you know, you know what to do, leave a message <laughs> because that, 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 that doesn't have value. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have the exciting, that wow factor say, I want to, you know, connect with that person or follow yeah. up with them, especially That's now great. with the, job market with people searching for stuff all the time it's important that people have a posture about doing that there you go all right give us your website where we can get to learn more and uh, we can get a copy of that book matter, matter of fact that book hold up that book again sure. 10 powerful networking tips using social media yeah open up the front cover and sign that one for me <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay sure will <laughs> So the book actually can we have a website dedicated to that to make it easy for people to remember and it's 10 social media networking tips.com which will actually take people over over to amazon anyone that's look you know that sends me a resume and looking for stuff i'd be glad to they can send me an email at carl at carl e and uh anyone that that does that I'll, I'll be glad to send them a copy of the book as well and you'll read it you'll read their resume I will, and I will work with them, and I'll I'll run with them till they land. That's what I we 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 do that as a community service for folks at Savvy Intrapreneur. Great. We want Call people to read your resume. So, that, exactly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, Carl, it's always a pleasure talking to you. And come back. I, I, as a matter of fact, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Maybe I'll get your number from uh, our producer. Okay. And, um, yeah, and uh, let's see if we can uh, add some of that stuff to a website and things like that. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us, and thank you're always you welcome to come me. back. It's yeah. awesome. Have a great Paul week. Paul E. Reed, speaker, entrepreneur, and author of 10 Powerful tip, Networking Tips Using Social Media. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, there he is, networking during difficult times. Call E. Reed, speaker, entrepreneur, and author of 10 Powerful Networking Tips in Social Media. Make sure you check him out. All right, we'll take a break right here. Coming up next, I've got a whole lot more for you in store for you coming up on open next.